it onto the grass. That's it, onto the grass. There we go. And stop there. Stop. No. <laughs> She's gone too quickly. So it's raining outside, my roof is still leaking, so that means we're stuck indoors again. So we are going to do an indoor shoot, and what I envision is an image like this. Now this image was taken quite a while ago, and I want to recreate that image with a bit more complexity with my pet jumpy spider, with influence from Don Comoresca's images. Since our pet jumpy spider is going to be moving around, we're not going to be focus stacking, so I'm opting to use my Canon for this setup. No reason but to keep things mixed up in the channel. I don't want to be stuck to one system all the time. So I've gone into my garden and I've got myself some blades of grass that I'm hoping we can manipulate into a position that we want. We're going to be using a lot of platypod gear for this shoot. So let's get this set up. I've got a rough idea what to do but if things don't work then we'll mix things up change it up and deal with it as they arise so the first thing i need to do is to have some stable platforms now for that i will break out my platypod extreme bases there's a link in the description for all of the gear i'm using in this video so i'm envisioning our blade of grass to come up like this we're gonna have some water drops on it our jumper spot is going to run across the top of it and we're going to take pictures of it so we need a kind of a bridge made out of grass to begin with so we'll take these elbows and we will place those into our platypod extremes there we go and i have a platypod bag full of mini super clamps two for the piece of the grass we're gonna have a flower in the background i'll talk about that in a bit so we all need another one of them let's place those on there like i said i am going to go pretty quickly with this but if it takes us an hour to do it then it takes an hour to get it done okay right so that is set up and i'm going to place it about let me think my camera's going to be here we might have to move the setup about a bit or shall i do it handheld let me think yeah let's see if we can get it handheld then i don't have to bring the tripod in so what we want to do is get our blade of grass put him into our super clamp okay there we go now our flower's got to come up here so i want to lower this down it's a bit too high to be honest with you so let's bring that down if we can bring it down it gives us a little bit more option when messing around with the background so let's bring that down a bit put our grass back in so that is the basis of what we are going to do we are going to put some water drops underneath this blade of grass our jumper spider is going to run across the top of it so i'm going to go off to the side like that that is only so you can see what's going on and if i've set it up here the camera is going to focus on this rather than my face so the next thing i want to do is Let's get the background done. We're going to need another plate pod for that. So I'll get my plate pod out. Another elbow. You can never have too many elbows. Click like if you agree with that. So let's pop him in here. Elbows are great. I'll be honest with you. I might have to get some more. Right. I like the elbows because they're very sturdy. Once you've tightened them up, they just they stay there. They don't move or nothing. Okay, so our flower for the background goes in like that. And then we'll drop him down. And he will go there. Might need to go a little bit higher. So because I need to go a bit higher, rather than adjusting our setup here, what I can do is just extend the feet on the platypod. So we just extend these feet. I'm going to go all the way. I need that length because it's easier for me to lower the flower than it is to raise the flower up. So if it's too high, I can simply now lower it. There you go. So again, this is only rough placement. We have to fine tune it once the water drops are on there. We're going to be lighting that with our torch. I don't know if it's absolutely necessary. I'll be honest with you. Okay. So what I'm going to do is, let's put that over there, out the way, take my syringe, 
And this is a diabetic syringe, by the way. We're a little drop. Let me get another one and just try this out and see what's going on here. Now, I know water drops do stick to these because they had water all over them and I brought them in. For some reason, it doesn't want to have it. So our water drops don't want to stick, so we're going to try a new method. And this is a new little toy I got, a mist sprayer. Lee Hall put me onto this, so check out his channel. And I'm going to move flower from the background out the way. I'm just going to turn this on to add water drops to our piece of grass. And what we're going to do is hopefully get it moist enough that our syringe drops will now stick. There we go. So what happens is if the grass or your uh, scene is too dry, sometimes your water drops won't stick and we have to just add a little bit of mist. Do we need a torch in the background or can we get away with just taking a picture? Well, let's get our camera. So it's the Canon EOS R. I am at, let's have a look here, F10, 1 200th of a second, ISO 320. 320 is a very clean ISO for the EOS R. And I'm going to take a picture of this water drop and see what we get. I honestly don't think we need a torch in the background, I'll be honest with you. So if we take a look at those two images now, we don't need a torch in the background. That simplifies things because now all we got to do now is literally add our water drops. I do need to raise this flower a little bit, possibly bring it in close. Now we're in what I would call danger close. We're in that close, we are risking our jumping spider jumping onto the flower. If it does, then we'll just deal with it. But what we want, if you look here, we want our water drop to be directly in front of the center of the flower. And let's have another look now. Okay, so looking through there, let me take a picture so you can see it. Looking through there, we need to lower, we need to raise the flower, come think of it, because it's the opposite to what you can see there. These are like very, very fine, minute, uh, alterizations. Let's take a look at that. Yeah, it needs to come down a little bit more. I want it directly behind the center drop. Okay, yeah, okay. This is what off the cuff videos are like. I have no idea what I'm doing, okay? Um, a lot of the videos are scripted. You got a script that you read out, but these type of videos, I do like making these type of videos and I hope you do like watching them. Because again, I have no idea what's going to happen. So let's pop that in there. Okay, so now I can get a background card in there. And of course, we have the perfect one, which would be from the Bright and Cheerful collection that I've used quite a few times, which is this one. Pop him in there. Let's try another picture. Down, because what I want to do is try and match the colour to the flower. And we're doing all this fine tuning now because we're not going to be able to do it when the jumping spider is on our setup. Yeah, much better. Much better. All right. All right. So now I want to add more drops to our setup. Looks like it's dried out again. Let's uh, get our mister back on there. I'm going to try it again. And I am using just normal water, and it's actually water from still spring water that way it's nice and pure there's no uh, imperfections or any dirt or anything in the water great little device this is so um, i'm gonna link lee's video about it in the description below so if you're interested in this little thing go check out his video and then use his affiliate link to buy it okay go on get on there this is probably the hardest part of this image is trying to get this water drop to stick we might have to change the grass you know because it just doesn't want to stick i'll get the one on there no, that's not where I want it. And this is basically because of the video lights. Because the video lights are on, the water dries out quite quick. And I can use glycerin in the water, but I don't particularly want to. I want it all to be natural if possible. I've got a gap right here where it just does not want to play ball at all. And I think it's because the um, the grass is more water resistant to what the needle is. Can't, it's not going to work without one in there, I don't think. So we need to get one in there somehow. Yeah, I don't like the one in the middle for some reason. Looks a bit iffy, if that's the word for it. So to build them up a little bit more, I'm going to use my mister. I'm trying not to get the water drops on top of the grass because that's where our spider is going to be. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the mister and I'm just going to let these build up, I think, instead. Let's move that out the background. Let's take a picture of that and see what that looks like. 
there we go we've got some water drops on there so that mist is working quite nicely better than the syringe for this particular scene put some more on it does take longer to do it this way but they're a lot cleaner and you can see how with the syringe we wasn't being able to get the drops in place whereas with the mister we've got drops there it might not be as uniform than i wanted but it'll do the job so i think it's time now to bring our jumping spider in now she has recently molted but she has been out today she hasn't fed yet but she has been out so i have a background card to pick her up on if she gets a bit stressed and a capture cup as well so we'll have that down the idea here is you're going to introduce her to this platypod here and hopefully she'll come up over our bridge, our grass bridge, and we'll sell snap pictures as she goes over it. I'm going to see if I can get her to go on to maybe the super clamp. That might be the best place for her. There we go. She's there. Go about camera quickly. And I'm hoping she's going to choose herself to go over the bridge rather than me having to coax her into it. Take a picture of it and see what the magnification's like on our setup. So we need to magnify in a bit more. Let's go to, let me think. Let's get to one to one. Okay, now we've just got to convince her to go onto it now. And she's there. She's going to jump on the background. You're not going on there. Almost had that if her arms weren't in the way. Uh, 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 uh. No, she's on the background. <laughs> I knew that wasn't going to last long. I did warn about this when I first started. Remember I said I think the background is just a little bit too close. So let's try and get her back on there for another run. You have to be really gentle with your spider doing this. And of course it helps a lot if you know the spider. And as we've been working with Missy for the last few weeks, we know she's a capable spider to do this. I wouldn't try this with Bungie. Um... He's just, he's absolutely hectic. He really is. Hit onto the grass. Uh, that's it, onto the grass. There we go. And stop there. Stop. No. <laughs> She's gone too quickly. Right, stop. Just a little bit further back on the grass than I would have liked, but hey, that one works nicely. Oh yes, 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 nice. Work it, baby, work it. Go on. Oh yes. I like this shot. Just to see if we can get something else. I don't think we are though, because she's just legged it. She's like, screw that. See you later. Let me take a look at that image. Is that good enough for me? I like that image. I do like that image. How to God the focus is right. <laughs> How many times have you taken a picture? It's flicked up on the back of your screen or in your EVF and you've gone... I like that image. And you have it mentally in your head. That's the one you want to edit when you get home. Then when you get home, you've missed focus. It's the worst. It really is. She doesn't want the grass bridge, I don't think, no more. She's like, I've been there and done that. She's not having it. She'll come to me perfectly happy, look. She doesn't want the uh, the grass. Could be because it's wet. Spiders don't particularly like it wet. That's why I want to get the water drops underneath and not on top, because I know that they don't like the water much. Okay, she's had enough. This is the image that we got. I'm quite happy with that image. I like the pose on the one image. And I like the background on the other image. I honestly, I can't make my mind up between this image or this image. Number one or number two. Let me know in the comments which one you prefer. Number one or number two. There's two differences with the images. And this one, uh, the pose is great, but the background flow is slightly higher. Whereas in the next image, because I lowered the camera slightly, uh, the background flow is perfectly in the background with her, but her pose is a little bit um, off. But there you go. That is water drop refraction photography jumping. No. What are we going to call it now? Jumping spider water droplet ref. No. <laughs> what are we going to call it? <laughs> okay. Jumping, no, creative jumping spider photography with water droplet refraction. That's a mouthful. Let's just call it macro photography. Thank you for watching this video. And again, as always, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for sticking to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, then please subscribe and click the like button. It really does help out the channel. I want to thank my Patreon supporters for their continued support in supporting me and this channel. If you're interested in joining Patreon, then check in the description below this video for a link to Patreon. If you want to continue watching my macro journey, then click one of the videos in front of you now.